A witness awoken by gunfire, a victim dead, and a suspect killed by police. Thanks for joining us for the news tonight. I'm Meg McLeod. It all unfolded early this morning in Bay County's Bangor Township. That witness tells TV5's Hannah Jewell about the terrifying string of events. I seen the cops putting their ammo in, and they were about to shoot. Jolted from her bed by sounds of gunfire at the Bangor Downs apartments. Cops running with their guns and then... So then I jump up to see what was going on, and I thought maybe my friend's hurt. Bay County Sheriff's deputies were called to the scene at 325 Sunday morning for reports of a shooting. As they arrived, they located a subject who was deceased in an apartment um, and confronted a sus the suspect in the apartment who presented a deadly force situation for the deputies. The deputies did shoot and kill that suspect. Michigan State Police assisting in the investigation, telling us this was an isolated incident. We are asking that the public keep this, these families in their thoughts and prayers. Um, this is going to be a difficult time for their families, and uh, they have a lot to process with uh, the aftermath of this incident. The deputy who shot the suspect is being placed on administrative leave, which is protocol for situations like this. State police also say they will release the identities of those killed as soon as the family is notified. In Bangor Township, Hannah Jewell, WNEM TV5.